On the 10th of July, I competed in the Game Makers Toolkit Game Jam. The Game Jam is a game development competition where you have 48 hours to make a game based around a theme. Over 18,000 people joined the jam and 5,500 games were submitted. The theme for the Game Makers Toolkit Jam was out of control. As it reached 8 o'clock, we began planning the game. The first thing we thought is that we want our idea to be unique, so we ruled out anything to do with movement controls. We had multiple ideas thrown around, such as mental health or a virus. We decided to go down the route of mental health because we thought it was the most unique. Eventually, we went with the idea of a game where the player needs to kill people around them, but the more they kill, the worse their mental health gets. After we had our idea, I went to bed and would start programming in the morning. I began streaming at 8.15am and got to work on the game. The first thing I did was player movement and made the camera follow the player. I then added a temporary player sprite to use until Osiris Moon makes a proper one, and I made the player flip depending on the position of the mouse. I decided that the player should be able to face four directions and point towards the mouse. After spending about 15 minutes trying to code this, Monaki Senpai informed me that there was already a feature in Unity that does this for me called Blend Trees. This allows me to blend between animations depending on some values which I have set as the mouse's position. I then created an enemy that, that the player can attack. When the player attacks, it turns the screen black and only shows the player and the person being attacked. The surrounding enemies will then run away from the player. Next, I made the enemies walk around randomly. Because there will be a lot of enemies loaded at once, I decided to use object portal to spawn them. This is where you create lots of objects at the beginning, then reuse them throughout the game. Near to the end of the jam, I realised that this wasn't the best. This is because it reuses objects, this caused enemies to randomly disappear. However, by that time it was too late to change it. Next I added the post-processing effects that get progressively worse as the player's mental health gets worse. I also added a money counter that shakes and creates particles when you gain money by killing enemies. After adding some animations, sprites and other small changes, I added a menu scene, maybe using a bit too much post-processing. I left the game at that for the day and went to sleep. On Sunday, I only had time to do a small bit due to social activities, so I had a few hours to finish the game, build it and upload it to itch.io. In the few hours I had, I added the remaining animations and sprites and added a dead body that is left behind when killing someone. Now that the game was finished, it was time to build the game. I managed to build the Windows and Mac versions with no problem, but the HTML version was a different story. When attempting to build it, it kept freezing on the build. After a long hour of trying to build, I finally managed to build the game for HTML. I then uploaded to itch.io and made a game page 9 hours and 33 minutes before the deadline. Competing in this game jam was extremely fun and I learned a lot of things that will help me with creating my main project aspect. If you are a game developer, I would highly suggest you compete in a game jam because it is a great learning opportunity. Before I finish, I just want to give a shout out to a great 3D artist on YouTube called Gatsart. If you want to learn 3D sculpting and modelling, I would suggest checking out his channel. There is a link to his channel in the description. Thanks for watching.